I just want to make sure you're not freaking out. Freaking out? Me? No. I'm super chill. Okay. I am, however, concerned about what are we our doing? captains. Oh. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. Bye. What? Right. Yeah. Miss you. Bye. Hey, you two. Come here. Shut up. Do either one of you know how to read lips? Who needs to read lips when Spooner can read minds? Mm. I'm getting some major anxiety vibes from Sarah right now. Yeah, and I don't need superpowers to see that Ava is cracking. Mm. They're just stressing each other out at this point. Okay, so let's separate them so they each don't have a complete and total meltdown, okay? Hey there, Heffa. How about we hunt down some dinner? Yeah. Let's go stab something. Want to go for a hike? We could uh, get some firewood. Yeah, I would love a multitask. Great. Check out that view of the temporal zone. Worth a million bucks, huh? Mm. Considering this ship costs many thousand times more, I'm not sure how the board's going to feel about your investment, sir. Mm, there's one thing you just can't put a price on, Assistant Ava. Hmm. Revenge. Captain. We're getting an alert of several anachronisms in 1925, Odessa, Texas. Hmm. Captain. I like that. Odessa, wait a second. Texas? That's where the legends took me, Gideon. You found them! Engage weapon systems. I'm gonna bomb the living daylights out of them. Oh. I am advising against this course of action. How else am I supposed to wipe them off the face of the Earth? Eliminating the legends in this blunt manner will cause excessive collateral damage. <laughs> Your warning is duly noted. A lot easier than I expected. Can we please go home now, sir? No. The captain's impulsive and violent actions guarantee ripple effects in the timeline that we will have to clean up. More precise measures must be taken when dealing with threats moving forward. Trust me, this was the only way to deal with those legends. And if any ripples arise, we'll just use our brand new time ship to smooth them out. Astounding. You can't even tell that Gideon fabricated this food. Fabricated? Mm. From what? Oh. We've received an alert <clears throat> about a disturbance in the timeline. Fun! Which thrilling time period are we headed to next? 1925. Ooh! Weren't we just in 1925? That is quite a coincidence. What's the disturbance, Gideon? J. Edgar Hoover has disappeared. And unfortunately, it is not a coincidence. My calculations confirm your attack on the legends caused this aberration. Well, if Hoover is the problem, then Hoover is the solution. We'll just use my clone technology. And make a clone of Mr. Hoover. So we can plop him right back into the timeline and no one will even know. Mm -hmm. Clones are still human and humans are fallible. Remember, one of your Ava clones eventually became a legend and helped kidnap you. Okay, Gideon, there's absolutely no need to lump us all in with that horrible traitor. Mr. Hoover is integral to many seminal moments in history. We cannot risk a clone straying from his historical to-do list. Then, we'll combine my clone tech with your computer tech and make a Hoover robot. We can program him to carry out every action that is critical to history. It's actually quite brilliant. I know. I came up with it. <laughs> I'll have to add Robot Maker to my hyphenate. It's alive! The cure for crime is not the electric chair, but the high chair. He's perfect. Time to go forth and save history, Mr. Hoover. 